it is believed that the art of glass blowing dates back to the first century BC, where it was invented by the glass makers of Syria. But it was the Venetian artisans who perfected the technique. Since then, the art form has hardly changed in its 2,000 year existence. From the coast of Europe to the mountains of Africa, it is here in Swaziland that we find Nguenya Glass, Africa's first glass blowing factory. I'm from Swaziland and I've come home, not to visit my family, but rather to come to the Nguenya Glass factory. Glass often ends up on landfills where it takes up unnecessary space. But here at Ingwenya, they see glass as a useful resource, recycling what usually ends up on dump sites into beautiful works of art. Chaz Pretajon, the owner of Ingwenya Glass, has an interesting story about how he and his family found themselves the owners of this factory. Chaz, how is it that you and your family became owners of Nguenya Glass? My parents inherited a 17-foot long dining room table. And they decided they would like to put something down the center. And they found some of these little glass elephants. And they got about halfway down and then realized that they couldn't get any more. The factory's closed. So I said to my dad, let's go and have a look. We got you to find a really derelict factory. But we were just so enthralled with what we saw and the, the product and we thought, wow, this might be an opportunity. And so next thing we knew, we owned a glass factory in Swaziland. You're running a very sustainable business. How is it that you managed to have as low an impact on the environment as possible? You know, from day one, we've done recycled glass over 27 years now. So we were doing recycling long before it was fashionable to do so. It just makes good business sense to us and, and good personal sense. Every single one of the products made in this factory is made from 100% recycled glass. Glass is one of the very few products that can be completely recycled again and again without losing strength, purity or quality. Furnaces which are used to melt the glass are powered using recycled oil and paraffin. This comes from local fast food restaurants and motor car franchises who would usually just throw it away. All of the rainwater, which runs off of the factory roof, is directed to large tanks. These tanks can store up to 50,000 liters, which is used throughout the factory. Rather than using local indigenous trees, wood from invasive trees is used to make their molds. Waste newspaper is used in a number of ways. It is wet and used to reshape molten glass. It is also used very effectively in the final packaging of their products. What we found in, in time was that we weren't even melting the clear glass. And people were coming to us and saying, what can we do with the colored glass? So what we did then is we developed a machine to crush the colored glass back to sand. And we now use that to create tiles, uh, kitchen counters, bricks for the community, that sort of thing. Bricks are typically made using river sand, but this isn't ideal as it can damage the local ecosystem. Bricks made from glass chips is a much more environmentally friendly option. Nguenya Glass employs 60 permanent Swazis. In addition to this, they work with another 32 people who collect used glass and sell it to the factory. Many of these people who collect glass for Nguenya are local gogos who are looking to make some money to support their families. Uko Kutembega is one of the ladies who makes a living by supplying Nguenya with glass. Glass blowing is a master art form. Sbusiso is the master glass blower at Nguenya and has been part of the team since the very beginning. Uh, my passion for glass blowing comes from just taking an old piece of glass and then making that beautiful vase or whatever. I learned it a very long time ago. It was in the 80s. I was also very lucky to meet a, a world-renowned glass blower, Jan Eric Richman who was my master and he taught me quite a few tricks that I have also 
pass on to the guys here. It's a trade that is not very common. So it's very important to pass what I know to them so that they will keep this place going. These beautiful wine glasses are now headed for South Africa where they'll end up in Woolworth stores. Woolworths sources glassware from all over the world, but are particularly proud of their glassware from Mgwenya. Makegu Mabunda from Woolworths is very proud to work with Mgwenya as they share the same sustainability values. How long has Woolworths sold products that are supplied by Nguenya Glass? Well, we've been working with Nguenya Glass for just over 10 years, but in the last two years, we saw an opportunity to extend the range into our Studio W offering. As an organization, sustainability is one of our core values, and we saw it fitting to partner with Nguenya Glass because they are very sustainable in how they do their business practices, and also the fact that it's local. It, just, it was just a win-win situation. Our plan is to expand on the current uh, Studio W offering and also introduce the different shape wine glass and the champagne from it. Since its rebirth, Mwenya Glass has been an inspiring success story and an environmentalist dream. Here's to them making a difference for many more years to come, one glass at a time. <laughs>